Hello everyone and welcome to uh, the next installment in Grandmaster Hurong Hua Sandwich Horse Defense Treaties. This will be the first part in Chapter 9 which consists of three bots. Now uh, in Chapter 9, the major theme was Black pushing P7 plus 1 before developing his left horse uh, as H8 plus 7. So without further ado, there are three bots uh, which I will introduce uh, over in three videos. Okay, to begin with, central cannon. Now, uh, this will be the key topic for chapter nine. So, uh, in the past boards, Black would play uh, H8 plus M before uh, giving Red to decide whether he want to uh, advance the pawn or not. Or which pawn would be advanced. Now, uh, in this chapter, uh, the discussion would be about Black uh, advancing the pawn earlier than uh, before playing H7 for the sandwich horse defense. Now, now uh, one of the main reasons was to prevent Red from playing P3 plus 1 for the P3 plus 1 uh, opening system. Uh, it is also one of basic formations. Now there were three bots in chapter 9. In the first bot, Red would attack with p5 plus 1. In the second bot, Black would choose to play r2 plus 8 to prevent or limit the development of the uh, Black horse. Uh, in the third bot, Red would choose to play or develop his left flank with 8h plus 9 for the edge horse and then continue with the 5-7 cannons. So this will be a little bit similar to uh, earlier bots. So today we will so today we will focus on red uh, attacking with from the central file with p5 plus 1. So after p5 plus 1 were played uh, Black would continue with the sandwich horse defense. Now uh, there were two rate, two major variations for the first bot. The first of which would be p5 plus one, where Barrett would continue to charge his uh, central pawn forward to attack the central foul. The second would be r2 plus six. Now in the first variation, which is the shorter of the two. Uh, Black would counter with a central cannon for the same direction cannons in this in this situation. Now, uh, countering the central cannon with another central cannon is one of the best ways and most effective ways uh, to halt or limit the enemy's aggression. So p5 equals to six was given in the book, and at this point, the pawn was about to charge, but Red's left flank was still undeveloped, and uh, both of the black chariots were also yet to have moved. So there were uh, c2 equals to 1 was played so that black could develop his right chariot, and, and it would not be uh, ideal for black to try to play the rank chariot at this point in time because. Uh, at this point in time, Black would still not be able to capture Red's uh, cross river bank uh, pawn, and Red would have the advantage in this situation because the horse would uh, now be in trouble. And uh, Black was simply faster, uh, sorry, Red was simply faster as Red would be prepared to play R2 equals to 4, and the pawn would still be lurking uh, in Black's territory. So C2 equals to 1 for the edge cannon or the 5 line cannons. Uh, it was given as the main line. Uh, Red would develop both horses as proper horses. And Black would apply pressure on Red's left flank. And at this point, uh, Black would be slightly better as uh, both. Um, Red would be slightly better, sorry, as. Both his horses have input. Sorry, 
uh, black will be slightly better. I keep making a mistake, sorry. Black will be slightly better because both uh, the black horses will have ample room for movement while the red horses were stuck, uh, uh, still have trouble getting developed. So a short recap of the, main, of the first uh, main line. Central cannon. MP7 plus one before uh, developing the left horse. Red will attack from the center. And in the first variation, P5 plus one was given. Red, black will counter with the central cannon or for the same direction cannons. And black would try to develop his right flank. As can be seen, red's left flank had not yet been developed. And at this point, black would be better because both his horses would now be prepared to charge into action. Whereas red would still have the we still have to deal with the problems of developing his horses. So this was variation one. Now in variation two, which was the longer of the two in the book, uh, Red would choose to attack with R2 plus 6 for the pawn rank chariot. And the main idea would be to play R2 equals to 3. Now how should, uh, how should Black react? Now, First of all, red was already attacking the central file. So, again, countering black's uh, countering red central cannon with the central cannon of his own would be uh, a good a good <coughs> a good idea in this situation. Uh, it would not be a good idea. Another there was another sub variation, uh, sub -variation that was given whereby black would try to develop his right flank, uh, right chariot as the rank chariot. So red will continue with R7 plus uh, P7 plus one central cannon, and because P7 plus uh, sorry because black had already moved his cannon to the central file, red will use the F7 cannons and target the horse. Now black would be in trouble. Now this would prevent uh, red from charging the pawn forward, but in doing so, the left horse would now be under attack. And black would be, be forced to use a closed chariot to protect the black horse. Uh, it will be a closed game for black. Now red would still be slightly better at this point in time, uh, as he would now be prepared to play r8 plus 6 to attack uh, black's right horse. So this was the reason why if you played R1 plus 1, the underdevelopment or the space that uh, Black would have to face would be tremendous. Hence it, it was suggested that Black play C6 close to 5 immediately. So Red would uh, attack the horse. Now, uh, there were two sub variations that were discussed uh, as to how black would deal with the horse. The first would be R9 plus 2 uh, to protect. And at this point in time, sorry, there were two red variations that were discussed. The first would be H8 plus 7, the other would be uh, the 5 7 cannons. In the first sub variation, uh, R8 plus 7 was played, whereby Red would be prepared to develop both the horses from the central file for the attack along the central file. Uh, it would be appropriate now at this point in time for Black to develop his chariot as a ranked chariot. Uh, it would, on the other hand, it would not be ideal for Black to play P3 plus 1 because the chariot captured the cross river bank pawn. And this was a very powerful move by Red. Red would have a major advantage. If Black chose to capture the, uh, sorry, if Black chose to capture the pawn, the cannon will be delivering a check, forcing the cannon away, and Black could uh, lose his chariot as a result. So this is why uh, Red would have a superior advantage. So. 
as a short recap, if P3 plus 1 at this point in time for the double-headed snake pawns would not be ideal because uh, it would take too much time for this horse to be developed. Okay. The charging of the pawn was very powerful. And as can be seen, red would not capture the black horse and instead chose to charge the pawn forward. Otherwise, uh, if we captured the uh, horse, the black cannon would capture the central pawn and red would be in trouble instead. Okay, so that is why b3 plus 1 should not be played. Instead, black should develop his right chariot. And now black would have managed to concentrate uh, his pieces or material on this side of the board. And uh, at this point in time, black's horse would be developed. Now, as mentioned earlier, uh, in the sandwich horse defense, the development of black's left horse is a major issue. So in this case, uh, black would have uh, developed his horse and his opening would be considered to be satisfactory. Now, black would also be prepared to play uh, p7 plus 1. If red chose to play r4 equals to 3, black would counter with c5 equals to 7 and there will be tremendous pressure along this file. So uh, this would be to black's advantage and hence uh, developing the chariot as a ranked chariot would be a good choice. So a short recap. Uh, R2 plus 6 was played as the major variation. Black would counter with um, C6 equals to 5. Uh, sorry, R2 equals to 3 and R9 plus 2 to protect the horse. Now, the first major sub variation was red playing, uh, advancing or developing his left horse as a proper horse. In the sub variation, the second sub variation, red will choose to attack with. The 57 cannons targeting the horse in this manner. Now, again, uh, when Black played this, uh, one of his major aims was to get the cannon over here to this file where he could concentrate material for attack. So C2 minus 1 was played. And <coughs> uh, red, it was suggested that Red uh, 45 file balanced out his formation by developing his left horse as, as an edge horse. It would not be a good idea to play p7 plus 1 now because black would simply attack the chariot, prepare to play p7 plus 1 to capture the chariot, etc. Forcing the red chariot to retreat and because the left horse had not been moved, black would now develop his right chariot as a foul chariot and apply a lot of pressure on this flank. So what if red tried to continue attacking this file? Black would simply sacrifice the uh, pawn as a pseudo sacrifice whereby it will be a check and black would now capture the red cannon in this manner. So black would now dictate the pace of the game and have a superior advantage in this situation. As can be seen, left uh, black sorry, red's left flank was still very undeveloped. So that is why it was advocated for red to play H8 plus 9 for the uh, edge horse. So after playing this, black would get the option would have the option of playing C2 equals to 7 again, whereby he would try to attack. Uh, red's right flank. Uh, 3 equals to 4. And at this point in time, we can see that black would have seized the advantage from red. Uh, both the black chariots uh, were now relatively developed. Red's left chariot would not have uh, many good lines for development. And there was already much pressure being applied on red's right flank where the defense here would be minimal, so uh, uh, this would be to Black's advantage. In the book, it was mentioned that if uh, Black's semi short defense would be deemed successful if on, if Black would be forced to move one of his uh, advisors or 
uh, elephants passively and he would need to pay a lot of attention to the speed or the development of his pieces and finally uh, if red were to, to attack from the central floor black must have a plan in mind to be able to counter and usually countering with the central cannon would be a key issue for this uh, particular situation so a short recap Okay, uh, this will be the major topic for chapter 9. In the first spot, p5 plus 1 was played. And there were two variations whereby red would attack from the central far for the first variation and r2 plus 6 for the second variation. Now, if black were able to counter appropriately or precisely, uh, it would be to... Uh, it would be to black's favor or black would be able to hold his own uh, in this situation and one very key point would be to play the central cannon to counter red central cannon so i hope you have enjoyed this short video and uh, i hope to see you soon with more videos thank you and please subscribe to my channel if you like what i have been doing